Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an origami deer hound. Um, so for this, you'll need a square sheet of paper and a pair of scissors. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold these two corners together um, and then crease it and then unfold. And then do the same thing for the other two corners. You crease it and unfold. And then you're gonna fold the two opposite sides together, crease it, and fold, and then do the same thing for the other two sides. You crease it, and then unfold. And you should have this star shape. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is take these two uh, creases that sort of form a V shape, and you're gonna wanna fold them to each other. So it'll fold on this crease in the middle, like so. And then we'll have this flap here. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then you'll have uh, this square shape. And you're going to want to take this point that um, looks like that. And you're going to want that to face away from you. And this point with all the flaps, you're going to want it to face towards you. And then you're going to take um, this side here and fold it into the middle, just the top layer. Um, and then do the same thing with the top layer of this side. And then fold this down so that it forms a straight line. And then uh, you're gonna wanna cut on this line here, stopping at this horizontal line here, and only cut the top layer. Once you have these two flaps, you're going to take just that top layer and you're going to fold it so it forms this uh, diamond shape. And then do the same thing for this side, taking just that top layer and then folding it to make this diamond shape. And then it'll have this little triangle here that didn't fold out all the way. And then you're going to fold these shapes in half, so you just take that top layer again and fold it into this center here. And do the same thing with the other side, taking just that top layer. And then you can flip it over to the side, making sure that you still have those flaps at the bottom and the crease at the top. And fold this side into the middle, doing the same steps that we did on the other side to this side, just to make it symmetrical. So. And then unfold that after creasing it and cut that top layer again. Unfold these to make those diamond shapes. Fold them in half. And then do the same thing for this one. Okay. And then you'll have these two flaps up here and these four flaps down here. These four flaps are going to be the legs and these two up here are going to be the head and tail. So we're going to start off with the tail and you can just make a crease sort of like this to start it off and then you'll open up this here and fold it down. And that'll make an inside reverse fold for the tail. So the tail is right here, and you're just gonna wanna bring it out a little bit so it sticks out. And make sure you crease it, and then you have the tail. And it sort of has this pointy thing here, so if you don't want that, you can um, just take these two things here and just fold them down so it's flatter. and fold it into the center rather than out like this so that uh, it'll stay more hidden when you look at it from the side. And then for the head, uh, we're gonna start off with the neck and you can start off by folding it down sort of like this just to make that crease. 
and then we'll make it an outside reverse fold just so that the neck is like at a little bit more of a downward angle than this upward angle. So it'll look something like this. And then you can make the head by doing another outside reverse fold. So you crease it and then sort of just squash it down. So that's kind of too big of a head. Um, it'll look like that. And then uh, you can leave the belly like this if you want a little bit <laughs> more of a belly on it. Or if you want the stomach to be a little bit flatter, like this one, um, then you can just cut uh, this part in the middle. Uh, it's giving me a difficult time. Um, it'll sort of help if you separate up the legs. So cut this part in the middle that connects it so that you can Fold it into the middle to make it flatter and less pointy. So that's what the belly will look like. And then if you want to make the cute paw up, like in this one, then what you're going to do is you sort of just flip it inside out. We have a real live deer hound inter uh, interfering. Okay, you're sort of giving me a difficult time there. Uh, and then do the same thing again, but it'll fold down this time. And then you have your deer hound. It might be lazy and might not want to stand up. Um, you might have to give it treats. <laughs> <laughs> this one doesn't stand up very well. <laughs>